Everybody's got their adjustment. We're trying to get, trying to get the gadgets going. Okay, guys, get your gadgets going. Okay, there's a good chance this is working. That one's okay? Yeah. That looks good. It's got the little red light on. Pretty sure it's on. sign. But it's okay. Good. Okay. So, uh, this evening is... Um, um, well, um, well, well, today was, um, uh, today was Kof, Zion Kof Ches today, right? Koach, Koach. Yeah, Koach. Today was Kof, Kof Ches, um, Tammuz, um, Shira and Hamshech, uh, uh, Iron Base, Selig, uh, Olives, um, Maima Diva Master of Aya Etloi Omain Omud Taf Samach Hey. So we were talking about the Milas of the Arakal and the we, were, we reached a Moscone that uh, despite the fact that the cow is in your name, uh, glasses, Milo uh, Umata, and in your name is in him from Gul, or even from Kloli, Mitad, the Rishim, who are in safe Shabbat, Commission is Boyle, the Eel Perikov, Kachess. That's about mummish half of the way down the Omud. And we saw the cloud we brought down from the Biri Azoya, Pasha Chai Sora, Avon Posik Yishorim Darche Avaya, that the cow was called Urecha Tzilas, and we compared it to the Indian of a of a Derech Lolias, but from a Nimshach, uh, or they have to be Mistayev, Derochim, uh, Kitanim Yoisa, or we bought the Moshul of the uh, Nahar, which uh, uh, the Bali Hasodas take from the Nahar, Tzinoidus, uh, uh, or they bring a, a Tzino Godel, rather, from the Nahar Godel, and then from the Tzino Godel they take Tzinoidus, Kitanim Yoisa. And we saw that the Tzinara Godel was the, uh, was the Kav, a boy from Kloli, and the Tzinaitis Akitanim were the uh, Oiris, or the Shersha Oiris Apratim, which were made from the Kav into each particular sphere. Well, from that we learned that the Kav, albeit, was already shy to the spheres, and it was Oira Maya Batilas, of Afu Pikenu was compared to a, uh, a Derech Kloli Adai. And that was called Erech Atzilet. And there was a necessity for further Tzintumim, or that was the Tzinoirois, Aktanim, that they were made into the Sphiris, what the Erech Amislabshim in the Sphiris Mamish were for those Tzinoirois, uh, Aktanim. And there was even Mashma Mizer, that there was a further Tzintum, uh, from the Tzinoir Akotan into the actual Islabshis in, in the Kli. Well, that was the marshal that we were we were dealing with. What Mizer Imashma to be on him that out of the cow is the market from once the tenayos saktani manim shah. Of a base, we saw that the cow was called oira uh, hatzilas, which means it's a union cloli a dayin, even though it's the market of the tenayos aprotim. And so we saw that on that basis, uh, we have to say that the cow has in itself a union cloli vatsmi. And we described that uh, in the name of Perik Koches earlier in the Hemshech, that that was the Roisham Ha'ain Tzai, was a Nisha Bahakav. And we spoke about that at some uh, length towards the end of the last Shia, that Ain Dovish HaBagadosh and Nechav Mim Kaimoy, that even though there was a Tzimtzum in order to bring about the Kav, of a Mitzad, uh, the Indian from Roisham, uh, and that's not the Indian of the Roshimo, that's another Indian, a uh, Roshim of the Urain Seif Mamish, 
how it was begodoi is nisha behakav. And why is it called a rishim? Because it's behelim masuyam. It's not mamish begodoi behakav. Because if it was mamish begodoi, uh, then I heard that the cab would be just a ayin shobitl light here, ain't it? It would be in from bleak wool. However, we have to say that they, uh, that's what's common. I brought in many places and said so that the Indian, the word Rosham, albeit implies in, uh, uh, that it has a certain touch of the etzim, otherwise it can't be called a Rosham of the etzim, of a leidoch, the fact that you call it a Rosham indicates that it's not mamish. Uh, the whole shlemus of the etzim, the whole uh, pshitus of the etzim. But the fisa, we have to say that uh, the roishim of the etzim is albeit like a tzimtzum, but it's a tzimtzum atzmik is there that the ein safe still remains and is puyo in the kav al koponim bederach helim. But that helim is not a helim uh, gomu, it's shayat to Pu'ula, that it's actual Pu'il, a certain inyanum. And that's what we're about to see, that apart from giving the Tsinoidus protium to the spheres, the calf is also going to be Pu'il, and if it's colorless by Nehem. So it's like we see two inyanum. On the one hand, it's the Mokhe of the Proteus, and on the other hand, it's the Amshoche Claudius, which is going to be Pu'il, and if it's Yichud, with it's colorless by Nehem. So that's uh, a bit of where we're holding now. We're going to get into detail of that um, of that view of how the cow has itself. But Miyuchad, the Kuyat Tessinian of the Rosh ain't safe, has itself Tessinian that can be poil uh, both of the Inyonim together. On the one hand, Ain and Prati is Asphiris, Bam Shochas Ayres Bahem. And on the other hand, Ain even his colorless in the Spheres, which leads eventually to a much higher in as, as we'll soon see. When you speak, when they speak of a Russian. Huh? A Russian. A Russian. Right. Yeah, you have, you have the Etsim and then you have a, the Russian of Etsim. Yeah, yeah. But you see the... Because, I mean, the Russian is, there's a lot more, I mean, there's, there's a lot more in Etsim that's not in the Russian. Yes, yeah, that's what we're saying. But, but on the other hand, uh, it depends, um, you know, what you mean uh, by a Roshan. You understand? Um, in the Roshan that you just described, maybe not so much. But if you take a, 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 a line or a drawing or anything that was, and you um, you try to erase that, but then at least what's called a, a Roshan. Well, then the reason is mom is a Roshan from the very atom of the thing. You follow? And so the word Roshan can, can have in itself the concept of a, a trace of the atom. But not with the answer his gullers that it was uh, previous. However, the fact that we say it's a ration from the etim, well, that means that it's got in itself a queer and a pu'ula, which is shy to the etim, but it's not betoike fagilui. That's the nakuda that we're, we're interested here. And we'll see that that's uh, the, the, what you might call the uh, paradoxical aspect of the cow, that he's pearl in both. Kitsovis, on the one that he's spoiled, Davkidin if in the Tsunodos of Pratim, and he's a Mokelehem, and on the other hand, he's, uh, he's going to be spoiled the Sinyan from this color, which comes from the color. So we have to say that that's the two in Yonim in the Rosham. It's not therefore the Rosham are not Pagolui, and therefore the Kav has in himself Timtum and uh, Hagabola and uh, what you might call uh, Gvul. But on the other hand, he's also Mamshik and he brings a Kesha with the Ura Abligo. <coughs> so here we go. Vahina he says, where are we? Hadugma mize, who be finus a cow. Shuhu at sinoer, anim shuk me erin say, shall have ne'er at simtum, and we shall cause you by eight time. Now, that's going to be important that the mokia of the cow is really in the same oil that was there of ne'er at simtum. Are you finus pshitus a dying? We have shall a kailim des a sphere is like kabura ermia kav atzmai. And that's what we saw that even though we say that the kav earlier we had, that the kav is an even for nakudas, of each nakuda in the kav is an even for pshitas for atzmias, 
And therefore, even though it's made up of Nakudas, they're all in our even from Shitas Vatmias. And therefore, despite the Nakuda Shabakav, it's too cloly to be Nimshach into the Prote Hasfiras. Kiim, the Kabu Meakav Atme, Kiim Meak Sinoiris Proteim, Shaheim Makoiris, Makoire Hoiris. The Alkain, a Kav Baklau, in other words, that since we say on the one hand that the Indian Akav is Yosem Midai, Kloli, the Yosem Midai, Shire to the earth, Shalifnea Tzimtum, and he's like the Tzina Hagodil, yeah, and therefore he carries out the Indian of his colorless Basphilus. In other words, he's got himself a Gilui Kloli. That that's poil the inevitable is calvus. Over the idoch we found that he's only a a a, a gilui but there are symptom from the person of that symptom. Therefore he's also the makoi reha ha oiras ha protim into the spirit. So that's the two nuances that we're we're working towards. So that's the two aspects that we're not going to bring out in the car. For say Indian or that particular Indian, that the Claudius of the cow, which we're still going to see what is the nature of that Claudius, Oisa Bukhinus is colorless. Or say Indian Milgav, or that's what we say on uh, uh, when we say the Pasik Aliyahu, Milgav means mi bafnim, bafnim is, Iu Shema, the Iu Irah Chilas, the Hainu Bukhinus Hakav Baklau. It said that that Pneumius, which is Shema, well, that is the way of Achilles, the Haino, Bhinus Akav Baklau. Well, from that we see that the infant Shema is connected with this Uyrak, you Shema, the you Uyrak Achilles. So we see that this aspect of the Kav, how he's Uyrak, he's like the general way and the general road of the whole of Achilles, well, that's connected with the, uh, with the Indian of uh, the, uh, the Shem Ma and both of them are connected with the Kav but he now he says HaPardesh Shadalad Perikvog that's the famous work of the Ramach what was his yacht last week the Haggah Mavaya Damashu Kosev Milgav Ihu Hu HaOyer HaAtzmos HaMishpashit Petit HaSphiras So Hu Milgav Davke well, that's the Taich Milgav, Bepinimius, because it's the Oer HaAtzmus HaMishpashet Betech HaSpirus. Now, we're going to soon meet up with the, with the Pardes himself, defining that it has fallen on a cloud in the Lashenus of the Pardes, that when he uses the word Atmos, he doesn't mean Atmos ain't safe. He doesn't mean Atmos Aboire. No, he means the Oires. He calls the Oires uh, Oer Atmos, and he calls the Kalim, Kalim or Gufim. Right, so we've got to bear that in mind. The when he says Oyer Atmos, he means the Oyer, not the Indian from Atmos saying so. That's what he's about to bring now, a cloud. Now, Oyer Atmos, I'm Ishpasa Betechas Firas, or that's the touch in the Pasichaliyahu of the Milgav, of Pneumius. Or the Pelacharimain, but that's another big work of the Ramach, which is printed usually together nowadays together with the parties also Shah Dalit Kosu Nekuit Ay Klola Biyodok you should take this general rule in your hand the Bekol Mochim Shanazkia meaning us meaning he in his works Atzmus Vechelim Ajiya Atzmus Hu Anishoma Haprotias Dahaina Uyr Hapnimi now he says clearly that when he uses the word Atzmus yeah, he means only legabi de kalim, that the ur is described as atmos legabi de kalim. Or he means the ur, which is actually maya in the spirit. So don't we do it in the parlor. That when he says atmos, he means the neshoma haprotius, meaning the ur pnimi, mamish, which is maya in the kalim. And that he calls atmos. That's what he, when he uses the word atmos, that's what he means. Not that we should mean when we say atmos, the very atmos of the boy, and he even puts a chasper 
Yeah, even put a chas for sholem on it. No, we mean yeah, ain't even oyer, and the oyer is considered being as it is giloi. Sof kol sof elakus. It's sof kol sof with all the yuridas. It's ain't even giloi are moyer. Therefore, the oyer is called uh, atzmas. Emes, and then he goes on to say the part is ki a etzem hanelam machaye es akuyo. He said, the, uh, the truth, you're right, as it were, BMS, the uh, hidden etzem is really machaya everything. But who nishoma, nishmas, ha nishomas, ad kamle, He said, that is the nishoma of all the nishomas, up to here is a quote from that uh, quote in Pelacha, Arimai. So now the fact that he said that the atzmas is the nishoma prati is because sphere. And then he said, not Atzma Selaka. And then he said, however, there is a union called Etzem Hanelam, which is uh, Neshoma of all the Neshomas. Now, he just said that Neshoma is the oil which is mayor in the Kalim. So since he says Neshoma or Nishmas Koha Neshoma is, then Lechoyer is just referring to another Madrega in the oil. In other words, it's a Neshoma, like Gavi that Neshoma Protis, which is mayor before. Sphira, and he calls that etzem ha nela. Oh, not that he's cholila referring once again to the why well, say cholila, but it'll show you who to the atzmas elaka. In other words, that he's mentioned here three madregas. He's mentioned the infant the nishoma hamaya in the kalim. Then he's mentioned the direct warning that he doesn't mean the infant etzem elaka, and then he says that there's the infant etzem nela, which is a nishoma to the ne. Shomers, and since he called the Inif and the Nishomers the Erez Pratir, then that means a Madrega in the Ur, which is, uh, ain't a rate higher than the Ur, how it is made of the whole sphere of a so-called of it's a Inif and Ur. So there was the Rebbe, O Masha, O Maha, Etzem Hanelam, Nira Shakavona, Al Etzem Hashem. In other words, not on Cholila Atmos again, but Al Etzem Hashem. Yeah, what does he mean by Etzem Hashem? To who Shmei Yeh Echad, that's one on, that, uh, that, um, who Shmei Echad, the word who is a Rosh Tevis, who Shmei Echad, Kirtua. Yeah, therefore, we're talking about a Uyah, which is very Nelam, and it's only referred to as who, and that is who Shmei Echad, and that's called the Indian fan, Adeloi Nivro Ha'ilam Ha'ya Hu Shmei Bil, in other words, the Shema was Kolo Biatz Musay, and he said it's well known that Shmoi is Begimatria Rotzen. Why in Ashokos of Shom Soperik Gimel in the Pelaharimai. So, what the Rabbi is saying is that we can suggest that the Etzem Hanelam is really the Madrega, how in Alderach Aksilas it's the Madrega from, from Rotzen. And Rotzen is an Indian uh, Makif, and Shem it's the Indian. Huh? Hashem, Hashem. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're talking about not uh, not Malchus out down in the spirit. We're talking about Dina and Shem. How it is, Mami Shlifnei Kola Afil Shlifnei Atimtum. The Ainu Hu Ushmei Echod, but that's the Eira Kol Beatzmusi Mamish. And so here he doesn't mean Mamish or Eira Kol Beatzmusi, but he means that's a Marotz. No, but we're not talking about the union of uh, this Proteus field. We're talking the Milam of Proteus field. And then the union of yeah, the, yeah, the Shem, uh, Beklau, is connected with the union of an Oya, Beklau, the union of Ha'ora, and it's also connected, or here, it's connected with the union of an Rotson. In other words, that according to the Pardis, when you talk about Oyeris, Kokakavoyim, then we mean the union of an Kaviyoho, the Rotson, which was uh, Nimshik. Uh, that's the mockery of all the Hamshokas. I must of course show him soft perikim. Well, him Cain, can say, ain't a Atzma Selaka. It's also not Atzma Selaka. The Yesh Lema says, oh, Prinus ain't safe, I believe. Well, in other words, he ain't safe how it was, Kreda Matimtum. The ain't safe, which was Maya, because Mokke Machalol, and that was called the Rabli. A bleak wool, and that's called in Siddhas also the Inif and Rotson, because that was the, the Rotson Atzmi or the Rotson Amuklat, here different names which um, are given to it, and that's called the Inif and Er Hableek wool, meaning that the Kav itself, the Etchemini and the Kav is the Er 
הגבול הוא הרי את הרי אין בגבול. אבל את הפנימי יש את הקו. הקו יש ממשיך, אין נמשך from the Indian uh, or a bleak war. So what we say that the, this Indian, that the, there's a, a etchemash, a, a, a nela, which is Machias call Hanishomes, then we can suggest that that's a part of the way of referring to that or a bleak war. Be it to Oyer, or be it to Rotson, but it's the Indian from Oyer ha bleak war, the Ilu, the Neshoma, or that was the Oyer ha Pnimi, which is Nimshik Halidea, Kavlu Kol Svira, Svira, and the Oyer ha Nelam, the Etzem ha Nelam, or that is the Indian from the Oyer ha bleak war. What comes out of his hair, do we have to say in Cain, that the Kav has in itself these two in Yon, and on the one hand, it's Mamshik or El Proti, the Kol Sphira or Sphira, and yet the Pnimius of it, Milgav, the Pnimius, it's also Koshul, in the era, I believe, or, but that, that we, Lachora, we already knew, below okay. We have to say that it's not just kosher with the Arab Ligvu, but it's also Mamshik, the inner of the Ligvu, and that's Mitzad, the, uh, the Roshim of the Ligvu, which is already there, below okay, in the, the Kav, you know, he's got this ability to uh, reach into the bleak wall, and as we'll see in a minute, not just to have a Roshim, but to be Mamshech and Megavadir a bleak wall. If he says here that Yeshua Zerah Bechidah Sa'in Sof, that the Kav is Mamshech and Megavadir a bleak wall, he doesn't say Orain Sof, he says the Ain Sof. No, 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 he means Zerah Ain Sof. Pilti Sofi, he means Zerah Ain Sof. But Derech Lavan. That's Manila? Yeah, yeah, that's it. What's Atzma Selakai? Atzma Selakai means the Atzma's Mamish. Atzma's or the Evishta. Not Atzma's ain't so, but Atzma's. Ain't so is only a name uh, which is not. The real name of the Evishta is Ain't like Tchila. That's for the citizens of the world. Ain't so is just a, a term. Uh, when we say Ain't so, we don't mean uh, the Atzma's. At least in the Maimorim. Here, we don't, we don't mean that. We just mean the giluim from the avis, which are there ain't so. Follow? Of in that kufa, that's come of a madrigas. And so the ur oblique wool, we even close the ur ain't so. And the cow is already the ur wool. Follow? So what we're saying is that even though the cow is already the ur wool, it's had a certain regime of this ur oblique wool, which is in him. He's got the ability to reach that Ur Shilov Nerzim to which is their obligual, and he's got the ability to be Mamshik at into the into the spheres which are really Gvu, and to cause a union of Bligvu and Gvu. Well, that's what we're trying to get at. The Imkain Milgav Iu Shema in Lefize, it comes out that the union of the Pnimias, which is really the Shema, Lefia Pardis, who begins to Ur Pnimi, Hamachaya is actually. That follows the Fisa, that when the, the, the Pardis said that the Indian of uh, the Pnimias, which is the Neshoma, which is Nimtza Batuich Kol Sphira, yeah, then that's Lachera, what he calls Milgav, that's the way he was Mufarish, Milgav, meaning the Ur Neshoma should be called Sphira U Sphira. Ochein, says the Rabbi, Doichik Lafarish Kain. It's a bit. Uh, awkward to be mafarish kacha, the im kein mahu inyan de ihu oirach atzila. If we're going to say that ihu milgav means the pnimias, bifnim, ihu shema de ihu oirach atzila. So if I'm going to say that milgav means the oir and the shoma, which is man meye bechol sphira usphira, that that's the touch milgav, and that's the union of, of uh, Shema, then the Fisa Kuntois, that the union of Shema is a Dova Proti, which, to a certain extent that's true, because Shema is connected with the Kav, and there's a Gilui of the whole sphere of sphere, on the day that's in But if we're going to say that that's the whole shot of Shema, is the Neshoma Proti of the whole sphere, then what is he add by saying, De Ihu Oirach Atzilas? And so the Rebbe said the word oirach implies something clearly. Uh, if you say a general way, then it implies something clearly. 
He said, "Doichek lefarish kain de im kain ma hu inya diu oirach atzil halay v'chol kli vada yesh pnim amachai as a kli." In every kli, there's a oir pnimi which is shy to that particular kli. Uma nikra zeh b'shem oirach atzil stam. Why would that be called the general? If we're going to say the shema and the oir and the shomer should be called sfira, or they are one thing, why should that be called oirach? Atzila stam, but gam harei oir pnimi hein oiras protium. The specific oiras, the loshen oirach moira al oirach v'derach echad. A one and only general thing. He said, "V'yesh chilu bein derach echad oir drochim harbei." There's a big difference between one derach echad or a lot of what you might call small or uh, sub uh, drochim. Now, Idra Rabba is the famous section in Pasha Nosa, in the Zoya, where it's written that Rabbi Shimon said uh, to the Talmudian, uh, I forgot the exact solution, and then he said, gather everybody together and we'll sit down, be Idra. What is going on that the word Idra in the Zoya Kodesh means a Moishav, a place where to sit to learn. It's like a moish of limud that they used to sit around. That's called idra, or it's called idra stam. Yamamir then began a whole series of seders, um, and that of Rabbi Shimon was Megala. It's a whole big section, a page after page in the Zoya in Pasha Nose. And that's called the idra rabbi, the big shiur, the big uh, teaching. So over there, right near the beginning of the idra rabbi, albeit not mamish at the beginning, but close to it, over there, uh, he uses the expression, "Bitchilase hahu oircha," or as a general road or a general derech, is paris v'tariag orkin. It had to it breaks up or it, it uh, uh, separates out into uh, 613 smaller ways. Harei yeshefresh godel bein chad ocha k'moishem is palig. Uh, in other words, it's from that very lotion you see that there's one general uh, uh, way, and then that can be divided into a lot of uh, sub or smaller ways. So he said, Whatever they're not far from the beginning, uh, the Alter Rebbe also says that there's a Enif from the the Shoresh of all the Amshokis and all the Elamas is a in oil clolly vachmi, a clolly by the Shnika Oirain Saif. And then he says, Venim Shokim is a Tariag Orchim. The author of it doesn't actually quote the lotion of the Idrazut, of the Idra Rabba Beetam lotion, but he said that there's quite a called Maya Ha Ora Clolias, Yeshuhunika Oirain Saif. And then he says, Mize. Nimshach Tariag Orchin to the Tariag Oilamas and Tariag Amshofis is rather in the in the Oilamas, and then he later says that that's connected with the Tariag Mitzvahs, and then it's connected with the Tariag Eivorim Sheba Adam. The whole Rikas over there. Now he goes on that Ali Day the Kiva the Mitzvahs Ali Day say the Adam is Megale or Mamshik. Do you know him how they are Lamaila? And if he's mamshi, if he became all the mitz, then bishleimet, then he's mamshi. There ain't safe for chulu. Yes, so he'll have kolana with a whole rifus over there in Tanya and Egeras Akoyedit. So we see that there's a inan of a oirach stam, and then there's a inan from protistika orchin, which are connected with the inan of the tariag mitzvah, so called so. So therefore, said the Rebbe, if we're going to say that the Kavona of Milgav Iu Shema is only on the Nishoma de Ur Proti, or it's Meir, in each Svira, then why would that be called Uirach uh, Stam? Lechor, it breaks up anyway into all sorts of small Orchim, and the, those Orchim are what go into each each Svira. So you can't really well call the Protis Dikadarach the Clovis Dikadarach. Why would that be Mishyachis only to one Shema? Yes, Shaharei be proti a Shemois, Shahem proti ha Oirois, yes, Shem ab Bokma, ve Shem sag bebina chulu. And then it's oddly enough, there's a Shema, which is right to Zor, and then there's an Inifan, 
Shem Ban, which is Shad to Malchus, as is going on, and the Sag is Shad to Bina, yeah, Ab Sag Ma and and pa, what Lefise come to, he said, each shame has got a certain kesha which, with one aspect of Eilema Atzilas. On come of where? Become a famous in, uh, here in, uh, I am based and in Lukoti Torah, the altar of it. In come a famous, it must be that the, those shames, or they are the what is makasha, rumiyachet, the oil with the, Kalim. In other words, that even the Eurus Protean, which are mayor in the Kalim, are still Eurus. They're still really Lamaila Mea Kalim. And to be Machaba, the Eurus with the Kalim, that's the pool of our Shemois, but the Shemois are connected with Nakudas. And even from the Nakuda is like a, 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 a um, how do you call it, a medium and a toy, which is Machaba, the Eurus with the Kalim. It's a whole big uh, beer. You and I am based uh, uh, becoming a Kalim since this has been a girl is there. Um, I'm here, eh? says the Rebbe Kumta, that the Shemois, or they have a Shaifas to the particular Sphere that they cause a hamshach of that oil in that particular sphere. If Achim came, why would you say Ihu oil of Hatzilus or the whole Hatzilus lechera? It's got a shaykes with one particular aspect, or not with all of them. The Im came, Ma Oim Hashem Ma Adavke, meaning oil of Hatzilus lechera Hashem Ma Shaytu a specific gilui in Hatzilus, but not to the whole of Hatzilus. The nearer means the clause of oil. Who shema that the whole generality of the oirach, but even clearly, I know who am mamshir. Oh, now here, all of a sudden we move into a, like a sort of a policy statement. Up to now, we've been uh, just trying to say that it would appear that this word oirach is a generality and it's connected with shema. So he says to the Rebbe, what is its generality and what what is it? That on the one hand it's a general dira, and here on the other hand it's maya into the Indian of Silas, in a, obviously in a way which is pnimius at Silas, it has a shaitas to at Silas. So he says, I know, shu amamshit liyes is kalalas as a spirit. In other words, that there's a general way, a oirach, uh, that that causes, yeah, that's bifnim, and that's a pnimius of all the Indian of at Silas. And it's a madrega called Shema, which obviously doesn't mean a Protestant Shema, but it means a, a Clolistic Shema. And what's the purpose of what does it do? It causes these colorless in the sphere. In other words, the Enochanamni, the Oiris Protium, and a Mayor Bechol Sphere, Kedela Hachi, it's a Akelia Hu, Kedela Gallus, yeah, it's a Sphere Hu. Of the Enoch and this Oiris Hatzilas which is connected here with the Inif and Shema, well, that's got another function. It's not just to be Maya in the Proteus Asphiris. No, it's in it is, uh, l- l- to be Guiram, a uh, beetle in the Asphiris, that they'll all be able, as it were, be macabre, one from the, one from the other. The whole reasoning, a couple of pages back, the whole reasoning got into the whole Inif, what is Shema, he said that Shema is, is the, his chabras, his chabras are called in Yanim. What was this? He said the Shema, that's Goriam, the his chabrut, his chabrut. I've called it. Uh, that's what he where did we say that? He said that a couple pages ago. That's, a, that's how we got into the whole Indian of what Shema is. Yeah, I don't, but I don't remember that we said that. I mean, uh, we've it, been it, talking. It his home because we've been talking said, about. Um, and that's the. It was his. his no, uh, we. Um, we said that the Inif and Shema B'derek Lau was the L'chav Yishnei Afochim, Chesed Gure. Yeah, okay. But then he started off uh, Abiyu in that. In order to get to the to, to, to standards, yeah, we had to get into this whole thing. So now what we're coming back to is Einach We're coming back to the fact, but he was saying, but even clearly you tell, that the Inif and the Kav, Inyone is to be Gurem, the Inif of his Kavala, the Kola sphere is a Bukhola uh Bukhola Inyonim and in that regard he's a in Kloli even though he's a in of an oil. Yeah. And he's not to be uh, uh, how do you call it, connected with the Oilasa Protium Shabakol sphere. That that's an akuda that we're trying to get at. Amamila, Shahu Amam Shit Leo is his colorless ayasa sphere. But this is like now a knees of Teichaprotim, like you said, that we had to be Mavaya, that whole Indian, 
And uh, that's in effect where we're coming back to. Ainu chanami. Devahainu the leacher shechoshiv kol proti asfiris. After in the pasuk aliyah over there, he tells you all the proti asfiris. Chesed derei yamina, and then he goes on with gura derei smaller b'cholu. Yeshaniklo bezeh gam hoya. That that includes if we talk about the asfiris, then we're talking about the oya. What oya? The oya that is maya b'chol asfira u. Then he says, however, Bipnimius, Iu Shema, what is that? Hakuilu Kula. In other words, it is a Gilui in the Indian from Shema, what is Kuilu all the spirits. Vibalas, he's Kuilu all the spirits, and therefore he's able to be Goyram that they are also in a, how they will be Begolui, they'll be in a state of Yechudva. Is colorless together, because this Indian from Shema is a er klali, or he's cradled in himself, yeah, all the spirit. But that is must be how the Indian from the Shema is able to be goyrim, the Indian from his colorless. Now, the Fisa comes that the Indian from Shema is, uh, he's not a er prati, he's not the er to be, which is maya because spirit of spirit. Even though that's Nimsh of Mimeno, right? However, the Inuvan Shema is a, a Uyo, not just that he's Kloli, like Yavidem, but he's Kuilu Kulam. Now, when we say he's Kuilu Kulam, you, you can say like a Uyo, like a Klal is Kuilu Pratim, for example. You can say, then you have a Klal, Ain Lechabba Klal, Elamashi Esper, Frat, Ain Lechabba Frat, Elamashi Esper. Well, in other words, that the Indian cloud uh, uh, is curled in the of the protim. Oh, but then you say that the protim are nim him in the cloud, but he's a shumatsiyas yeah? And it's just that you draw out the prat yeah, from the cloud. But here, well, what, what he means is something Yisam uh, is here. Here he means that the Indian from Shema, not that it's cool or everything like a cloud, or like a prat between a cloud, but that's a azar uir atzmi and a uir kloli, that that's better than my male cool, let's call it, as far as, and therefore it's able to be goirem between kulong, a Indian from Beetle, that they should also be in an Indian from his colorless. And it's like we find the uh, the famous beer in the Gerasakoides that the Alta River brings over there, the two kings that they come before the emperor, uh, the Asa Sholim. Bimrimo, when he brings over there, when they get to Tifera. What Tifera is a new midder. It's not a, just a scholar of the Hasidic world. That's a new midder, a new, an Aya Indian. And how does that come about? Are the day that there's me, you the of the Melech what happens to them is they become betail in Matthias and if he bottles they become bottled by Matthias then Kilo uh, he's able to cause in them uh, a new Indian in their whole uh, his colors the Heine that they form together a new middle altogether well, that we have that, and then he goes on to say that it's in the middle of the So we see from that that there's a union of a cloli, which albeit yeah, is koilo in itself, a kulam, kusokos of tiferet, yeah, is koilo in itself, chesed of water. However, it's written that that's document that a gilo, or the ain't safe, yeah, that's what he writes over to the altar, in other words, that there's a lamaila mikulam, which is close enough to them, yeah, that that lamaila is kuilu kulam, and therefore it's able to be, yeah, mechaber b'neihem. The early days there, we can say once it's done that, then it can be mamshil from an even higher matraya. Once it's already done that, yeah, it can be mamshil uh, from its own shirish atzmi, which is lamaila me'etma ayin in the cause of the Yiskalas, and that's uh, even higher than that. That's what we find that uh, it's Portano in the Kutu is about to quote the Maima. He's going to quote Mamish in a second. There's Portano in the famous uh, bio, the Bahainif in the Kutu Tera in Pasha Emwe, Bahainif Akuyan. That's our email. But he brings down over there that there are two in Yonim, or even three in Yonim, in these colorless uh, the spheres in Atsila. That first of all is Indian that they save him one the other, not managed one to the other. Then there's another that knows him mock him and makablim zemi. 
זה, איננו זה פורדו עניין, עוד שלימוס דה קוילה, ממש דה מיתיס העצמס, איז נמשך אינטו דה מוכי מהאסקלוס. אין לנו את הלידי שהם מסקלולים, דן דה ברינג דאון, אוילה על קולונה, ודה סיניף את שלימוס דה קוילה ממש. So there is a shit there. Some people all, that your mom said that the whole time during Spirit of Sarima, but it's kilo behelim. And others say, no, your mom said that at the end, when you mash up the whole spirit, then that's in your mom said that your mom said the whole shalim musa de kweilu, or that your meat is atmos, ain't saved, v'chulu. So that's what we're going to see here. The Rebbe's going to hint that the in your Hashem ma is kweilu kulu. Well, that's a oil atzmi, but he's not the emitus of the oil atzmi. He's like a azam min gilui, where he's koilu kulam. I know he's got the ability to cause in them all a beetle, and a iskalulus biyachad. In that respect, we say he's koilu kulam. Of a koilu kulam, you know, even for lemailami him. And then there's even lemailami imenu. Then there's even echafarim. Of a he's connected with that. If he hadn't... If he hadn't done that, I wouldn't have been shy that that be Benimsha. So that's what he says. Well, he day is Kalalazu. If you look carefully, you have to learn Pshatazai. So he says, Well, he day is Kalalazu. Well, the Shema is now a new one that we're bringing. It's great on these Kalalaz. Mamshik Liya is this Kalalaz. Well, he day is Kalalazu. Nimshak Aleyhem. Uyer Elia in Yosef. La ain't Kates Mia'er. Then Ali Dei says, Nimshech, Oyer Elia and Yezela, Ain Kates, Now Oyer Pnim. Now that's much more that the infant Shema is not Ad Kadei Kachla, Ain Kates, Now Oyer Pnim. Who Yezela is a Kesher, Ain Kates, Now Oyer Pnim, but he's Koyal Kula. Who Le Maila Miyem, Who Mufshat Miyem, Abu, he's not Ad Kadei Ain Kates, Le Gamre, Le Maila Miyem, Oyer Pnim. אז אם המלך, אם כן, אם נוים אדם שוכר זו, אי רק העורר פנימי, המחי יעש הכלי, הרי בכינו שישום הזו, יש בכל כלי, שלא יהיה מצד האשכלולס, אם שער העש הספירה. So if we're going to say that this Amshoch, which is Nifal, Alidei Shem Ma, Da'ainu, Ainif and Iskalos, and then Agilui, or the term is there, if all that is only the union of the earth, which is Pekola Esa Spirit, then Ein Chobesh Mata is Atzma, yeah? You've got the earth, which is Pekola Spirit, it can't be Koyal of Kulam, and then it can't be Mamshit, or the term is there. And I'm going to say to the Rebbe, that's why we have to say that even though the part that says that the union of Milgav is connected with the union of Shema and the union of Atzimus, oh, it's really hinted in that other lotion that he says, the Nelam, yeah, the Hedekot, the Etzema Nelam, that's what he means. Yeah. So the Rebbe said, L'choyra, come to Islof, he said, do we have to learn Pshat in the part that says, Oi. But L'choyra, now it is very common in the Chzidus Chabad, on the one hand the Rebbe said, you can't, say that the Ur Proti, that's the Inif and Shem, uh, for Shem Ma, because the Ur Proti doesn't cause these colors, it's what it is, it's what it is. So he said, maybe we could say, uh, here's an amazing thing, he said, V'yesh Loima, the Klolos HaOyer, the whole generality of Oyer, for Shem Ma, even the Ur Proti, the Ur which is Maya in the, in the Inif and the Spheres, is also Shem Ma. Al Shem Bechines HaBitl, because every Oyer in Atzilas, is the Inif and Bittl. V'ainu shenim shepo even koze, sheyuchu lekabo sfir ha'ofchiz, v'chamoish is boya. In other words, even though every oil is in its keigli, and it's a specific oil, and it wasn't, it's not mamish the meat is in for Shem Ma. However, says the Rebbe, on the other hand, you can say that maybe to learn Pshat in the parlors in the simple Russian could still maybe go. Do I know that you could say that the Ur Prati is really the Inif and Shema, and that's really the Inif of the Iskalalas, I Vizoi, that we could say that since each Ur is at Kach in Atila's Potil, and it's Nimshap even because there, that it's going to be able to be Makabu, another Ur, even though it hasn't actually done it yet, yeah, then maybe we could say that all the, all the Ur is yeah, having themselves a Inif and readiness for that Inif. If they have a readiness for that Indian, they've already got it mitat, yeah, mitat atzmo. That's, that's the Chiddush that he says now. Why am I so possible? Who did tell about Biyo de Vahid? Well, as I just mentioned, Binyan ma shmoi u ma shembe benoi. 
But it's uh, well known the, the, the famous Pasik in uh, Mishle, in right near the end, in chapter Lama, Dutch state, Mash Moyo Mash Ember Benoy. What did I say? It's a, a pillar. Chassidus brings that as, um, as a raya of all the many Huichinyanim in Atilas, or Elam Atilas. And in Emerson, that's a Pasik where the, 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 the Pasik says, that you can be chayich of a doidus, who made the world and who made the sea and who made all the inyanim and uh, who joined it all together and who brought about for uh, is it uh, is it child to say mash moyu mash imba? No, it's like a tmiya kayimus. It's like a, it's like a, almost a, a latonus that people are trying to say that you can possibly uh, understand the abrista. It's like saying, uh, ma, yeah, Haim, Marsh, Moy, Marsh, M. Benoy, Mr. Frank, now Philip Cruz, what's his name, or what's the name of his son? It's like a, it's like a Tmir, yeah, but that almost, but that his latitus, naked people think that you can understand Philip Cruz. And it comes along citizen, citizens know, Marsh, Moy, Marsh, M. Benoy, all the plastic says it about the Avista. If it says it about the Avista, it's even that there <laughs> yeah, there must be Beis who a drush, Beis who said in that pasuk there must be either for Mashmoy or Mashember, Mashember Benoi. And I'm here the old Rebbe says over there, Taka, that there are two levels in this Kalalas, yeah, by even Klavi. And he says those are the two in your name, Mashmoy or Mashember, Mashember Benoi. Yeah, Ma 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 Mashmoy, Mashember Benoi. So he says that the Indian for Mashmoi is one Indian, and then he said Mashem Benoi Ben, based off a, a slightly lower Hamshocha, you know, from the. And so he says, uh, that maybe we could say that Shem Benoi is the lower form of his colorless uh, in the spheres, and then Mashmoi, well, that's the Indian for Maha Atzmi, which is Nimshin, because of his colorless. Yeah, you is a gavoya bekol asfiris, and Ali Day said, "Then this nimshet the end of this shleimus of the kula." What's the physics from that? Is it the altar of hints that this kilo come up poolas or dargas in shema, and that this like as it were is colorless, which is not really as colorless before y'all, yeah, but it's called is colorless, and that's called mashem benoi. Yeah. And that was as the, the Rabbi Lafiz there, we could maybe say that that's what we're meaning here. That in Emerson, even the Ura Nimshu Patoha Kalim, which is already individual, it's Lachur not the Indian of these colorless, and that's what we're saying, Lachur Hashem Maha's Poil Mashu Lamaila, we say. Nonetheless, we could say that that's also Ainifan is colorless, and it's also Ali Daid Ainifan Shem Ma, even Masuya, far worse, because it's ready at least. It's a Zah Uya, which is Nimcha, but even because there, that, yeah, if there will be a Inifan is colorless, then it'll be Makabula. In other words, what that means is that the whole binion of Atsilas is Malachatkhila, that it's ready for the Inifan is colorless. Even though you haven't actually spoken about his colors, or you haven't been oily into the dark of his colors yet, over the etum oil is muhan lakah, and that's what we're going to see is the head will be with the cl- the clothes in, we're going to go now into a whole discussion at the Indian from Tuyu. But this is the head of the clothes in the Indian Tuyu. The Tuyu was Malchatkhila, a lot of Africa. The Tuyu was Malchatkhila, but even because of the Uyrois, you were not see well. Yeah, the whole Indian, he be etim at smusam of any possibility of his chabrasim chabrayim. But he look on, yeah, the Uyr is muchan, even though it may not have actually yeah, occurred be uh, etim poyo. Amamila says the Rebbe, Alafi says we could maybe answer. <laughs> so therefore, even though he's going boy from Klali Nish boy from the Pardes, yeah, or, or not to learn like that in the Pardes, he said maybe you could. So so maybe you could. And now what the Pardes wrote about the Etzim and Lenom, he just put it for good measure, you know, to to, to measure it together. Not that he meant that that was the Indian. Yeah, and again, Elena Ka. If my mother then to be left, man, it would be in the Indian the oil, a may of a Teuchosphere, and that's what he called the Indian of Milgav, and that's the Indian of Chemma, so that it was a live So he said, we could say that uh, I, that would also fit with the Indian of Oira, because that's a general way, it's an Indian that's Paklau, that's the whole Shito, the whole Derech of Achil. Elevade, uh, without the brackets, however, we're not learning that way. Elevade, mashma, shuam, shochus, dovama, chudash. That it's mashma, not like that, shah.
But it's much more that the Yin of Shema is something new altogether. Yeah, the, in other words, that that's why it's called Uyra Chatzilas, it's called the Klolas, because it's really something uh, new. Now, when we say Dov Machudash, we mean something that's not there. Mitzad the Etzem Gilui and the Etzem Atzolos Asfilim. It's a new union which is Maya in them uh, uh, and bringing in them a, a new, as it were, Toitzua. It's Mamshik from the Madrega of Nishoma Linishoma, the Ainu, and that what the part is called the Etzemanelam, they're from yeah, the Urabligo. Shaaf gama atzma shebetoich akli shebchines nishoma lakli. That's what the part is called atzma. That's a nishoma oyer hameyer sakli. He ne he beera bechines kli. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Yeah, kli the gabi oisoy ha oyer. Baloch einikra nishoma lena. Shoma. In other words, why is it called nishoma? Why call it nishoma lena? Shoma is called the erabli. The erabli who? The neshama is always a, a word for something which is mislavish in a, in a kli. A neshama is mechaya something. So he said, we're calling the ur, which is mislavish in every kli proti, we're calling that neshama. So he said, why would we call this ur, the bligo, the neshama, lene, le neshama? Because he said that that ur, which is in kol kli, like gabi that ur, amiti, for the etz of manelam, well, that's called like a, a kli, like be a new neshama, but that's a, a, a much higher neshama, and that ur is just like a, a kli bulva. It's all terrible. We find, for example, uh, I, I, the yeah. other way around, let's put down the other way around, that we see that the, um, the kalim of atzilas, or oh, they become the urus in biyah, as is well known, that the ur are neshama, or biyah, the highest madriga in brio, that's even the kalim of a, Atzilus. So here's the other way around. That the the uyer, yeah, which is mislavish in the kalim, uh, that's called uyer. Of oh, like a much higher uyer, that's called a yeah, a kli. It's only like a kli. That's what's called neshama lene, neshama, not just stam uyer habligu. So there we said she'af kam atzus. In other words, here we see a pillar. That not so much a pillar, but I mean. We see that the Rebbe is working with the Lashon of the Paradise. That he's, he's killed building under the Lashon of the Lashonis of the Paradise. And that's interesting that uh, last week was the, the outside. When was it? Uh, last Wednesday, I think it was. Koftalad uh, Tamas or Kofkimo Tamas. Kofkimo Tamas is the outside from the, from the, from the Ramah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it's well known that the... Um, the Arisa said that, uh, that his Rebbe in Kabbalah was the Ramak. Yeah, he only, he, only, he only knew him a few weeks. Uh, and he came when the Arisa came to Eretz He was only, the Arisa was only in Eretz Hol. Sachakol about a, a year and a half. A uh, second time. But the first time he came, he was also here for, only here for a few weeks. But when he came the second time, and the whole meeting with the Rabbi Nechayim Vital and the whole Gilead, and I got to Kabbalah Vital, it all took about 18 months, the whole thing. He only knew the Rabbi Nechayim Vital for about uh, 16 months. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it took a bit of time until the Rabbi Nechayim Vital was in Damascus, and the reason was already in Tzvah. And all of a sudden the Rabbi Nechayim Vital felt that there was something, he felt these tremendous... Uh, Oyeras which were drawing him somewhere and he <laughs> packed up his bags and <laughs> went down the fast and he met the Ariza. Yeah, so the whole thing was just mummish counted month. But when the Ariza came into the fast, the Ramak was still alive and a few weeks later the Ramak was mystalic. Yeah, the Ramak was mystalic. <laughs> his Amir, uh, the, the Ariza uh, said about the Ramak that he was his, uh, he considered him his, uh, uh, he was Mishabah him more and more. You know, he disagrees with him in certain places. You know, Shabbat him more and more. And he's... That side of the Rizal is... Is Hey... Hey, your side of the... Your side of Rizal is just two weeks after the... Your side of the... I didn't say two weeks. I had a few weeks. I don't know how long it was. But... Um, months. It yeah, it must have been a few months, maybe. Yeah, a couple of months. But uh, not, not a good a lot of time. It's... Um, and... Uh, the uh, the Arisa, uh, you know, but a, a funeral from the Ramak, you know, you know, the rice from the mouth. 
Yeah, first of all, he said the famous um, um, eulogy, what do they call it? Um, what's the word? Esper. Huh? The famous Esper the Ramak, which is, uh, the Rebbe's got all Sikha about it there. You guys don't know the Mazza. It's one of the real Mishkhet Sikha, so it's one of the Pidli Plurs for the Sikha. You're not familiar with it. So anyway, can't get involved in the whole thing. And then the Rizal, the, the Rizal said that everybody should stand aside. I couldn't figure what was uh, going on. And the Rizal said, well, you don't see the pulse of the Novura. He said, you can't see the whole big long Daesh. Uh, alongside the Mito that I was carrying, the, the Ramah. You don't get to know the story. Uh, that was the Siman, who was the Mamshik. Huh? It was the Siman who would be his Mamshik. I don't know about that. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, there is any law. Right, you right. I read the Katuva is him. He he saw what the rest of people didn't see. But um, uh, the reason I said that he considered the Ramak is uh, is wrong. Also, upon him, it comes out of his head that uh, the 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 actions should be taken at least to begin the Shomalakli. He may he. Begin <laughs> In other words, come to us, that the real Indian for Shema, the emus of Pneumians of Shema, is to be poor a new Indian. Not the Indian of the Ur Mayor in the Klee, but it's poor of the Indian for Nishkalas. But he dated it's poor of the Indian for Nishkalas, and it's magic this, poor of Nishmasa Lene, Nishmasa, and that's Maya here into, but it's Kiel, it's called Nishmasa Lene, Nishmasa, because it's like a Ur Klee, but me, which is maya the cold sphere as it were. In other words, the spheres remain what they are. They don't become just bottled by Matthias, but they're macabre, this oil clolly. And what is that? That's only day, the Indian of the Iskalalas. The Ayan Commission is bully, or Bishem Apela Harimoi, the Nishoma and Nishoma, so Pinusa Eta Manela. We come back to this Rasham. Yeah, Why mention is Bullio Perikov? Yes. Well, that's what we saw in the previous uh, part of the chapter, that in Perikov, he sees Masba over there that the Kav does two in Yonim. On the one hand, the Kav is Mamshik Deiris Pratiyim. On the other hand, of course, it's the Indian from the Iskalalas, uh, the Kolas Vilas. For who in Shema? Or by the Klau, but he is in Shoma. Then in Shoma, who is Atik? Kumashkosa <laughs> So uh, we haven't really got uh, time to go into the whole uh, Indian, but we'll have to leave for the, uh, for the next time. And the next time will be uh, uh, already in the, uh, hopefully it'll be in the base of Mikdus Shashlishi, take it from the yard. But uh, so then we'll be learning about the nine days go of a Gorg, or even a Ki Nail of a Ki Niflu, or Hulu, or anyway. Uh, the next time, if we do happen to learn still in the Golas, uh, Shem Shmo, then we can learn in Mamish, but even when it's colors, it's colors is the answer yeah, to the whole Enim. So if you look carefully here, take it away and study it carefully. We're having our cake and eating it too. There's a very sort of, if you look carefully in the Roshainas, you'll see that there's like a, a sort of um, a doubling here. On the one hand, the river says that the Enim of Shemma is the cow. And he said it's Milgo, it's the Pinimis of the cow. And he calls it the infant is colors, and all the day these colors is nymphs of this, uh, this way of Clolivone Vatsmi. But, the feeling the change that we just learned now, it would appear that the cow is really that 
Yeah, the cav, the the cav is from this Indian, which it's supposed to be, which it's supposed to be mamshi. So look, it can't sort of be be both things at once. Either we say the cav is even shema, and shema is even his kavulas. Well, the day is kavulas, and him should this this madrega pinim is atigo, etzem ma atigo. That's the shleim musader, the koila. Over from the Lashem, the way we're learning right uh, in the last couple of sentences, it appears that on the contrary, the Kav uh, is really that Madrega. The Kav is really that Madrega. And that's Mishkale Ali De the Kav. And that's because the Kav is really the Roshim Ali, but he ain't saved with the Gansalini. So, Rachel, we need to understand what is the Seder here. Is it that the Kav, first of all, causes this colorless, and then this Indian is Nimsha, or is to come from that in it and it just sort of does it. I mean, because it would appear that he's colorless as a previous requirement and then he get this gilly. Or do we say, no, the cow just brings it automatically and everything happens at, as it were, a kilo babasachas. So, I mean, come on, everything in my life happens babasachas. Of it, nonetheless, there are certain requirements or certain in yon. So we're going to be madaic in that mime over there in Lakuti Torah. What he bought in the beer, and he bought in that wash in Ma Shmoyo, Ma Shem Benoi. If we look very carefully over there, then in the Hanami, it seems that the altar of is saying that they're like two inyonim, as it were, in the cup. They're like two shlavim or, or inyonim in the atmius of the cup. Not, not just the chitinis of the cup, how he's made up of spirit. Of in the Archmis of the Kav. And there's one Indian that the Kav is puyled in in his Kav. Shu Kuilu Kulam. That was the last we saw here. Kuilu Kulam. And then there's another Indian in the Kav. But he's Mamish Beshur Shoi. He's Mamish Bepnim Yasati. In other words, the famous loss in Teferasa Nealam. That hidden in the earth. 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 So, we have to say that the cup works on two in on him. That first of all, he, he does a certain in, and then he brings what is his in in atmi, yeah, of a, first of all, is a in in bugolu in the spheres, la maila me nishmosa, and that's nishmosa la nishmosa, as it were, and then there's the in of nishmosa la nishmosa, mamish bugolu uh, in the whole of the SS spheres, and they all, as it were, Retaining their uh, each in one of his inner, they become like a a star shlim. They they become a perfect place. Was his mayor inside this whole inner and shlim musa the koila. And if you look carefully at the lekutet tera, look here it is two inyanim. The eighth lema that that's the two inyanim of mashmoy or mashem benoi. Well, uh, we'll talk about that, and also at the end of the Mima, it looks pretty clear that way. Uh, we'll talk about that more as we go um, along. But we're telling the Lizoya of a Ladactic Maid. It sounds like the beginning of the Pinimus Gabba Hetzorinska. Yeah, well, you see, that's, that's precisely Lachera what we're not saying. Of the Pinimus Gufa, Chitanius of Pinimus. Because it's much more that Milgav is nicked to that this is Kilo. The Pinimis of the cow. Over in the Khanami, uh, we have to. Pinimis, yeah, yeah, in the Khanami. That's what we have to say. The Sokos, so, we have to say it's like a certain Shitrin, the Shiba Pinimis of the cow, and then the ultimate Achmis of the cow himself. Of it's not Kilu that the cow moves out of the way, and then there's a, uh, this amazing Amshoki. Well, that amazing Amshoki is Alide the cow all the time. What happens is that everything's Alide the cow. And if you look in the, uh, the Kutin, right near the beginning, you see the altar of it says that Leachri, but there was already the Kavana Aliena in the Timtum, that everything is Nimshach Alidea Kav. Ahaha, Kola Inyonim, Nimshach Alidea Kav. Good. Okay, so uh, I would have liked it, it would have been a little bit easier for you guys. To <laughs> it's a difficult mama of a. That's. We'll show the way it is. Alcha Ponim, what we see is, do we have a Koyach? But that's the rabbi that he's going with his colors. Now, I do what he's going with his colors. He is, and he's mamshi. <laughs> the the atzvi is uh, lamata. And why do we need it? <laughs> we need it so urgently. It's, it's so horrific and so terrible. The situation we just need it so badly that uh, those in Yonim should be begilui, take it from Yad. Mamish. Right.